Well done, Mr. Alger Critic. And now it seems there's no purpose to your existence. That may be all well and good, but have you considered this? Hi, a gun! No blood. Wait a minute. I know what you guys are. You're... You're... The Strangers from Dark City! Very clever, yes. But why? Well, what are you we doing? We were so pissed off that our movie bombed, earning only the slightest of a cult following. We knew we had to retell our story to a more popular market. So we dumbed it down for a broader demographic. Of course! A world controlled by emotionless entities! A lead who adapts to his powers! A dark environment ruled by human imposters secretly observing them! Hell, it even ends with two people flying around destroying a city! But it wasn't enough. So we replaced character development with gunfights. Vague undertones with obvious symbolism. And classic film noir with sexy people in tight outfits. It was a big hit, but something went wrong. The audiences caught on to our gimmicks and grew tired of the sequels. But you, Mr. Alja, you can say how bad it is and grow the audience's curiosity back. No, no, no. You know as well as I do, more attention should be brought to things that are timeless, not what's just popular for the moment. We've tried it before. We dare not try it again. Nor will you. <gasps> Mr. McGrinnick, catch! Ooh. Chester, I told you, I don't do anything beyond pot. No, no, insert it into your head! Oh, that makes much more sense. You're probably wondering why I keep appearing on all your memories. It's because I have inserted myself into them. For as you see, I have been studying the strangers for some time. Really? Eh, it's a hobby. But I have also discovered how to destroy them by using their very own power known as ruining. Ruining? The ability to ruin a perfectly good idea with unfit action and mindless puppets that they call characters that the viewers can imagine themselves as. But you can ruin too, Critic! All you have to do is finish the review, but you must act. Now! Ah! The Matrix films are silly, but harmless. What? In the grand scheme of things, there are some good ideas, neat visuals, and clever analogies. There's much smarter ones out there, but at the same time, this did at least get the ball rolling for people to say, hey, action films can make you think, and can push the envelope of what was visually possible. Before it, action films didn't have to look like anything that special. Just people shooting guns, jumping through explosions, stuff like that. But now, every film has to have a visual style if it's going to be recognized at all in today's media. This means so many more options for creative imagery and inventive imagination. And let's give credit where credit's due, this is most likely because of The Matrix. Even if it's not the best, it did change a whole lot and deserves to be acknowledged for that. And let's be honest, every film, even the sequels, has something good in it. So on the whole, while I personally don't enjoy them, they did do more good than maybe I realized to begin with. And none of them, not even the last one, are really god-awful. No, you must hate them. You must hate them so much the people have to see them! No, I don't. I think it's time to use some of this ruining power to get things back to normal. No more of the color green. No more weird-ass fetish gear. And no more stilted, unemotional acting! By God, you will have personality! No! Much better. I'm dying, Mr. Alger Critic. We researched so many popular stories, so many timeless philosophies, so many important sounding words. Why couldn't we make our characters more human? You want to know what makes a character human? Well, you're not going to find it in this went looking in the wrong place.